Hello everyone, welcome to the pseudo elements lesson on code inserts. Pseudo elements are used to style specific parts of an element, such as styling the first letter or first line, inserting content before or after the content of an element, or styling the selected portion of the element. So here I have this lorem ipsum Latin placeholder text. To get that, you go to lormipsum.io, you copy this paragraph and paste the text into your text editor here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change this first line of text to a red color. I'm going to type P colon colon for pseudo elements, one colon is pseudo class, first line. Color red. Okay. You can also capitalize those letters if you would like. To capitalize them, you would type text transform uppercase. Um, Oh, I was going to change the font size. Let's change it to larger. Okay. So what I'm showing you is that you can do anything with the first line of text with this pseudo element. You can also change the first letter of the paragraph. On size watcher. Scared of this. Scared of this. There we go. First letter of the paragraph is larger than the rest of the letters. So you can pretty much do anything with pseudo elements. But I would also like to go over is to insert images before the element. So um, I'm going to start off with a new line. Let's give it a class for now. I'm going to type in sudo before content. Now, as you can see, the image is too large, obviously, but you get the idea of the before pseudo elements. You're inserting the image before the pseudo element. Same thing goes with after, but it's going to be added after the element. Let's refresh that. See after. Now it is impossible to change the size of the image in a before and after pseudo element. The only way to resize an image is to use an image tag. Image source. You enter the source in the image tag. That's also another way to add images, but in HTML form. Here's where you change the width. I like to hide this. Oh no! 
Ah, JPEG. There we are. What you can also do with this P element is to get rid of this class and use a pseudo class instead. And the content URL. The dot dot slash means the parent directory of where this file is. Like say, see I have smiley PNG and this file is in demonstrations here. You get out of demonstrations, there's smiley out of this folder. That's the dot dot slash. Forgot to explain that before. Before the element. And the last thing I would like to go over is the selection pseudo element. You just type selection and you give it a color of uh, let's say purple. Purple is my favorite color. And I'll give it a background. Hey. Yellow, the complementary. Uh, I like to comment these out. And these. I like this. Now you see the purple letters and the yellow background. So that is all I have to share with you on pseudo elements. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share it in the comment section below. I'll be back with more lessons on CSS. Take care. Bye bye.